What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you how I defeated Ludwig in Wicked Witch boss fight on Spiral Corridor Floor 210. This is a hard challenge, I don't think it's the hardest one, but you need to understand this fight correctly to win. There are also multiple variations that work here, I'll show you my squad that may be different from most people that are done with this stage. But here we have to fight two bosses on the same time, same wave. And Wicked Witch is terrible. She can apply a lot of different ailments, and she can also attack with all physical types. But you should not care too much for Blunt, or even Pierce. In this fight, you really have to defend herself versus Shadow and Slash, mostly. And you will not be able to buff normally your Endurance and will. All your Endurance will Love and Charisma buffs are removed by the end of turn, so you need high buffs or you should use different alternatives. And in this case, we have ailment resistance buff, for example. Wicked Witch is only weak to Pierce, that's a problem since my main damage dealers don't do Pierce damage. Ludwig is weak to Slash and Sun, and I also don't use those elements with my best nuker, that would be Leon. But Leon doesn't care about weakness, he's just really, really strong if you have both his last styles. But let's talk about the formation and strategy. I am using Rising Phoenix EX because it's one will buff your will and it's needed. It also draws more enemy attacks towards Joe in the middle and I do have her triple S weapon. I upgraded. Joe counters with Headbutt and you should inherit Red Headbutt from her Robin style. This debuffs intelligence. As a counter debuffs 10%. As a command debuffs 15 if you have it maxed. And she also has Flame Force. that It's really really helpful here because it will uh, give you Attack and defense boost when people in the party are attacked, and since they attack way too many times, you will stack lots of attacks. Joe is the best character in the party, and she needs to resist, she uses intrinsic, so bring equipments that help her reach that. She will also be using Odd Circle a lot when you are not debuffing and she does not need to debuff if you are using Rock Bookie correctly. Yes, people can use here Medea. People can use also Pale Nymph, maybe latest Evelyn, but Rock Bouquet just simply work it for me because of her Gobby Spark. This is a skill that will uh, debuff intelligence by 30% and remove all intelligence buff from the enemies. It's very costly, 12 BP. Yes, I know. Once we kill Wicked Witch, we will be using Lightning of Darkness because Ludwig cannot buff his own intelligence. And he will keep using STR buffs, so you will be able to at least debuff a little alongside the attack down. So she has used for two different skills here. Then we also have Shirei to help out with the BP cost. Shirei has his Blaring Strings, that gives 10 BP. Then he will also use Song of Sturgeness after every time he uses Flowering Strings, because this one will buff Will and Ailment Resistance. Ailment Resistance is important because it cannot be dispelled. Will buffs will be just pellet. That's why Shirei is on the front line, even though he is a little fragile. And then we have Liz, because she will apply lots of defense boosts with use of Dragon's Blessing Plus every single turn, and also heal. She also has the very important heal every three turns and also uh, extra defense boost. She is your main healer, and BP Battery, one of the best cards in the game right now. And Leon is my main damage dealer. If you are using the latest Leon, you will bring problems, because Ludwig will check the attack rate buffs and attack more often, hence why I'm using the third lien with inheritance of Convert Weapon. If you don't have Convert Weapon, you can inherit, for example, the Wind Bullet, and using Wind Bullet will help you more than the Ice Bullets, because it will give a little more damage towards Ludwig, but it doesn't really matter too much. It still works without Convert Weapon. Okay, this is the squad, and instead of Lien, you can run the Ninja Girl. I always forget her name, Sumir. Yes, of course. And in the place of Liz, I'm not really sure who could be used here. And, well, you can also run Aspergal instead of Rock Bouquet to some extent, especially the newest one. But I'll be showcasing that one in a different video. As for equipments, oh, you have to defend against Shadow Slash mostly. You can check the equipments that I am using with my characters in order to protect. Rock Bouquet has Intrinsic, so she needs better equipment. Leon does not need that. The same can be said for Liz. Well, the part is ready. Let's go. And so the fight starts, and this is a very tough one. 
At least I have a guide here on my right side to understand what will happen during the turns, but we need to talk about these bosses first. Now, Ludwig is a character that will decrease your defense as long as the fight goes. He has this attack called the Dark Brilliant Flash that will apply Guard Down Large that already decreases your defense, but it only lasts for that particular turn. Okay. Before he attacks, so this attack is super powerful. Then he applies Defense Drop. That decreases your defense for the whole fight by 5%. Now imagine if he, this guy keeps attacking. If you don't know what's happening to increase damage taken, it's this. And the other part is Evelyn. And she is called Wicked Witch here because it's her monster form. And she has this skill called Netherworld Ice Prison. It's even worse. Because it will debuff your will always. I think the boss version will be... 15% will debuff, and it will grant target heat down that will decrease your damage output by 10%. Okay, your cards sometimes have like 60% damage increase. Passives, weapon with 100%, eventually your power will decrease. And, well, the lower your power, the worse it becomes because you need to kill them fast. When they reach around 20% HP, around this point here, they will start using another skill. That one will increase their damage output, but also their defense for the whole fight. It's Eternal Magic for Ludwig, where he gets this heat up, increasing his damage potential by 15% for the whole fight, and a defense up, decreasing damage taken by 10%. Everything here will stack. In the case of Wicked Witch, it's the same, you can see here. Now, every turn they will use Tough Break, that will remove your Endurance and will buffs, but also Love and Charisma. But those <laughs> are not even important anyway. And... If you buff your STR and Daxity, Ludwig will get mad on you and will use more attacks. He gets like two to three extra attacks. And that can be extremely dangerous. And he does shack from time to time this and will use these extra attacks. If you buff Agility and Intelligence, Wicked Witch will then go mad on you. And she will use Euthanize a lot and that increases her intelligence and she can apply ailments on you. The worst thing about Wicked Witch is that she has a medium chance to apply Paralyze and Poison. But if your will or ailment resistance is high, this won't proc. But since she keeps self-buffing when she attacks, see, she buffs her intelligence by 5% when she attacks. It is terrible, especially in the start of a fight. She can apply those things if you are not protected. And Ludwig just self-buffs STR that just increases his damage. It's not as dangerous. The other attacks that they use are just kind of normal, like Wicked Witch has a lot of attacks, a lot of ailments, shadow damage mostly, while uh, Ludwig is mostly slash based and shadow based. That's the fight. And they will use their best attacks on turn 2, starting with Ludwig, then Wicked Witch on turn 3, then every 4 turns. So Ludwig again on turn 6, Wicked Witch on turn 7, and so on. Okay, so the fight may need lots of restarts because the first four turns are important and you will not be able to use the best skills on the start. Jo has to use Flame Force so she cannot debuff. So Flame Force will be used. Shirei needs to use Flowering Strings. He will not be buffing humans. And Rock Bouquet needs to use Lightning Barrage if you have. It's not totally necessary. But she's also wasting one turn. And Lian will take a lot of time to build. So let's use Convert Weapon first. This is the only one that has a simple command. Just use Dragon's Blessing Plus every single turn. Turn 1 damage is pretty high. We got poisoned, but that's not really a problem since... Well, we will be healing and getting more defense boosts. Don't worry. If this was the other alien, then he will self-cleanse. And by the end of turn, tough break, removing all your defensive buffs. That's okay. Well, now Joe will just keep using Headbutt every time versus Wicked Witch. Uh, especially if you are on the start. But Shirei will always use Song of Sturgeness to give you ailment resistance. Rock Bouquet will use Gobby Spark. This will debuff their intelligence and remove their intelligence buffs. Let's do this. And Lian will use his Frozen Revolver a little more. With Dragon's Blessing, we can use it again.
This channel as a strike starts strong, but we are. We just deflected and counter. <laughs> you buffed intelligence two times now. Very nice to get a combo because Gobby Spark debuff follow will be higher. Although they will lose their debuffs on the end of every turn, at least in this turn we'll take lower damage. Ludwig will then use his best attack pretty soon. Oh, this one is SDR based. Round 1000 damage. Would be even worse. Now, Liz will heal the party every three turns with her passive, so that's awesome. And now, you can decide, for example, to use Odd Circle. But I don't think it's needed yet, since Lian's not ready to attack. This won't change much. So, let's keep with Headbutt. Because when you have Gobby Spark. Oh, I don't have Gobby Spark, so that's okay. You can just use Gobby Spark and Odd Circle with Liz. But since I don't anyway, let's just use Normal with Rock. Keep loading your bullets and Dragon's Blessing. And everyone is back to full HP. You're not stopping buffs from Ludwig. That's a very dangerous thing, but humans are much worse than just pure damage. Headbutt, nice. Jackmate. Uh, another headbutt as a counter. This is her special skill now. That just decreases your overall damage for the fight. Debuff at your will. That's pretty bad. But now, what we'll be doing? We will be running overdrive. And Joe can actually use Odd Circle. Because in this turn, we will be using uh, Flowering Strings, but also Gobby Spark. This will debuff. And Nia, because it's on Overdrive, can actually attack now. There's only one more bullet to load with Nia. Look at the name of this combo. Odd Shack Spectacle Acrobatic Frozen Antimaterial Frozen 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 Dragons Flowering Gobby Boat. A very big name. And as you can see, Leon can do pretty good damage even if Wicked Witch is not weak to the bullets. It's just raw power. Oh, keep using this. This is a very weak attack. That's okay, the next dangerous turn is only turn 6, so turn 5 is a good one. Back to Headbutt. Song of Sturdiness. Bobby Spark. And Leon has the last bullet. Actually, you attack on the next turn, right? So I can actually just use Odds. Circle. Bobby Spark. Frozen Revolver. Odd Circle lasts for two turns, hence why it will still help Leon. Odd Circle also decreases damage taken. It's important to use this if you can. But in these turns, you are not debuffing. Careful. It's trying to rush damage with Leon. Kill Wicked Witch as soon as possible. Oh, that's nice. You just got a counter. Haha, <laughs> counter and Gobby Spark. That means that if Rock needs to uh, save VP, it's okay since Joe will debuff on fast. But we'll see what is happening here. Add butt once more. I think I'll save VP. Time to do acrobatic race.
Yo, it's angry on Wicked Witch. He's getting lots of damage blocks. Yeah, we are protected. Now we even have a new buff. Oh, attacking... Pure Ray. Don't like when he does that. And this is, yes, Ludwig attack. Now it will be Wicked Witch attack. I don't like that Shuri got it. Um, on this turn, I can at least use Odd Circle. That will decrease damage further. And Shuri has to use Flowering Strings. I will not use Overdrive on this turn, only on the next. Actually, I can at least use Flower Strings on Overdrive. Together with Rock. Dobby Spark. But I will save my overdrive with Vian for the next turn with Joe. That's right. Always good to use Gobby Spark right after Wicked Witch her uses her best skill. We are past 50% HP for Wicked Witch. We can kill her by turn 10, I guess. It's okay when you attack Joe. It's very defensive. Oh no, no, Shire again. That wicked witch skill. That means that we want to use Gobby Spark once more. And now we use Headbutt. We're getting close to the. And of Wicked Witch, it's better to be safe than sorry. Now use Acrobatic Race together with Dragon's Blessing. At least we have a combo. Still a pretty long name. Wicked Witch will start to be more aggressive when she gets close to death. Still not on that point, though. We'll take one more turn. Her best skill only comes on turn 11. So it will be nice to kill her before turn 11. Again. It's okay, turn 9. Liz will heal the party. You see that as a skill also buffs the intelligence of... Ludwig. That's why Gobby Spark is so good uh, to be used. I will be using Joe on Overdrive with Headbutt. Flowering Strings. Oh, I can still use Gobby Spark. That's awesome. I will have BP then. Acrobatic Race. Dragon's Blessing. Turn 9 has nothing special happening. Only on turn 10 with Ludwig. The good thing is that Lian is fast in this third style, so he will attack Wicked Witch even on turn 11 before she uses her skills. Maybe leading up to killing her. Q defense down. <laughs> now Ludwig will do more damage. It happens from turn 9, 10, when they are closing to getting killed as well. Yeah, she's already on her countdown. 
She's changing her behavior. It's close to death, that's why. I can use Odd Circle now because I will have my Gobby Spark ready. This is important. Acrobatic Grace. I don't know what will happen from now on because Wicked Witch will change her behavior entirely. She will attack more often, use that skill that applies heat up more. Heat down, sorry. More often. And it buffs your will. And you know that <laughs> I don't have a debuff remover here. It will become more and more dangerous. But at least I have lots of VP for multiple Gobby Sparks. Ludwig will still do his nuke attack on this turn. <laughs> Cow Rush is already doing more damage because off. Yeah, surprise. Because off Ludwig. And she's just getting stronger. But Leon will kill her now, right, Leon? You will. He's almost dead, though. I'll be using Odd Circle, I guess. Odd Circle will decrease damage taken and also increase Leon's damage. It will be the last remaining push he needs. Song of Sturdiness. As soon as I kill Wicked Witch, I will be able to debuff Ludwig. It will be much better. Still have a Gobby Spark. In my final Acrobatic Race, because this is the final one, right? It has to be. As soon as Odd Circle goes first, it will be... Yeah. First. She got Spectacle as Chains, but not the other attack. That's nice. She's dead. I was not so sure, so I didn't use my other skill. Because from now on, it's better to use other skill with Bot. Ludwig won't be offensive in this turn. Not as much as he can eventually become. That's okay, turn 12, Liz will heal the party. It's needed because, yeah, Sheree is dying. We don't need to use Headbutt as often anymore. Can use sometimes, but just odd circle most of the time. Lowering strings, and now stop with your Gobby Spark. Start with Lightning of Darkness to decrease Ludwig damage. Won't take too long, it's much easier now. Leo will sometimes not even take damage anymore, because it's just Ludwig. He doesn't have it that many attacks and he will get damage blocks all the time. And... You can even use normal attack with your Shirei instead of using... Something else. Just buffing STR. So you can buff Dex routine and do damage with normal attacks on Shirei. That's what I'm gonna do. Light Stream has it will be too much because it will buff Dex routine and STR and Ludwig will go mad on you. So just a normal attack won't get enough buffs. So you can do this. Has been tested. Rock Bouquet. Now it's not full overdrive with everyone. We'll let's wait a little more. As long as she's just using uh, this skill now, you'll be happy. And now we are recovering our defenses lost because of Odd Circle being active all the time. If you see Ludwig buffing intelligence, I don't even remember if he can self buff intelligence. You can use Headbutt, but. No need, I guess. <laughs> Headbutt. 
Anyway, if he self buffs, eventually we'll have to actually use Gobby Spark because that will remove buffs on the enemy since the buffs are lost every turn. And he doesn't seem to buff intelligence. I don't think so. Now we have Overdrive, Odd Circle again. I could even use Summer Rain Light Arrows. Because I have lots of VP with all of my characters, right? This will do insane damage. Ludwig is weak to some. Let's see how many turns it will take us. <laughs> That's awesome. Even in his full power. Whoa, Shuri got hit by quite a lot there. Still on odd circle. Let's use a normal. Lightning of Darkness, Acrobatic, Extra Heal. I think we'll kill it by turn 16. And Shirei will be able to use his nuke attack pretty soon as well. Yeah, next turn he's dead. It was not as long as I thought. And he really cannot self buff the intelligence. Spell defense down. Ha! Like I care, his best attack is not spell based. Eventually he's becoming stronger. He didn't use his uh, special skill yet. Won't even use Hot Circle, Slammer Ring, Light Arrows. Lighting of Darkness, Acrobatic Race. I will use Overdrive if he'll die. No. No need it. Pretty stable team. Once we got past turn 4, everything simply worked. It's hard to kill Wicked Witch first, but once you do, you are done with ailments. It's faster than rock. God, kill it by Shirei. Awesome, Shirei. You really help it on this fight. So, this is the end of the video as well. I hope this can help you clear. There will be different strategies that I'll be running on future. But... Thank you so much for watching, and share here in the comment section if you use a different squad or if this video helped you. And if you want to support the channel, you can click the like button, leave a comment as well, and help it via PayPal, Patreon, or Coffee buttons. And I hope to see you soon in the next video or live stream. Bye.